we want to welcome you to our uh, interview with our couples. We know that we have been going through uh, a time of isolation and a time of quarantine, as they would say. And so the families are kind of shut in with their children. And so we just wanted to go in and visit with the Georges and go in and visit with the Edwards just to see how they're making it through this time of individual isolation or individual, what is it called? It was social distancing. Now it's called individual distancing. I think that's what it's called. Something like self, 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 something, self, something self, along self, that self, line. Um, self uh, isolation, whatever. We just know things are not the same as it was before. And so we are just tapping into these families just to see how they are coping and how they're getting along with the different changes of the kids being home, the children being home, and how is it affecting their day-to-day -day lifestyle. So sit back and re enjoy our interview as we speak with the families. So let's hear uh, if we can here give a, a nice little quick shout out from the east side and west side the east side we have the georges can we hear from you you can wave as well as can you <laughs> and introduce you guys the, the the georges can you introduce your family for those who don't know you yeah, well, i am coyote george this is coyote james george <laughs> uh, yeah, yeah i'm sarah george and this is zoe george Yay! <laughs> That's from the east side. From the east side. And from the west side in Mississauga is the Edwards family. Let's hear from the Edwards. So uh, we have Malaya here on my right. Uh, we have Nolan in the center. We have Joel to the far left. Uh, Camille and I'm Ron. Awesome. Awesome. Hey, welcome to the Edwards. It's good to see you. <laughs> Guys, it's good to see that the family is still intact. <laughs> yeah. you're, all, you're all looking very good. Awesome, <laughs> awesome. So let's ask these, these wonderful children, how, how is it that you guys are coping being home? What's, can you tell us one major thing that you miss about being in school? Let's what start you, with Joel. Yeah, what do you miss about being at school? I miss seeing my friends in person. Okay. Okay, that's good. Okay. You miss seeing your friends in person. I can relate to that. <laughs> <laughs> Nolan, what do you miss about school? My friends. You yes. said my friends. His friends. Your friends. Oh, okay. Yeah, okay. of course. Yes. Malaya? I miss seeing my teacher in person. You miss seeing your teacher in person. Oh, I could, we could understand that. Well, what about you, Daddy, now that you're not in school? <laughs> You know what? Um, I I definitely miss my children. Um, they um, I, I actually the other day I just got a, a video from one of my kids, and um, she was saying how much she she misses us, uh, uh, the teachers. Wow. At school. It was really touching. I had to send uh, a message back. So yeah, I definitely miss all my kids and all their different personalities. So. Um, fortunately for me, I, I do get to, um, to see them uh, on video, like when they, they put messages on, online through the app that we use for work. So, yeah, it's, it's yeah, really good. Yeah, that's good. So it's hard on the children. It's hard on the teachers. The yeah. teachers not seeing their students and the students not seeing the teachers and their friends. Uh, it's a way that we got to cope. So, right. so, so kids, starting with the Edwards children, can you tell us what do you like about being home? What's cool about being home? It's more peaceful than when we, I'm in my usual classroom. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so, 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 so that isn't in your hair like... No. You, you, come on. Let's act like he's not there. <laughs> <laughs> is, is your dad a good teacher at home? as he is when he goes to work? Yes. Ooh. Okay, that's good. That's the medal for you, Dad. I'll give you that money after, okay? <laughs> <laughs> so what about you, Malaya? What about you? What do you like about being home? I like, I like that it's really quiet than being in my classroom. Okay. And so it's a lot more quiet at home. Is that a good thing, Malaya, or is it a bad thing, really? 
<laughs> okay. So we got our scholar. You're going to go straight to Harvard. <laughs> All right. Hey, there we go. I'm sure for that. So what about what do you like being home, Nolan? What do you like about being home? I like being at home using your iPad. Yeah. Say that. Using my iPad. You said using his iPad. <laughs> for all his schoolwork. No, he just likes that he has more time to one, he uses his iPad for schoolwork and then he also gets to play games. So in the daytime if he's at school, he wouldn't be able to use his iPad to play games. So Okay. okay. Got it. We get it. Yeah. Okay, thank you, Dan. <laughs> now we're going to move on to the Georges and ask them some questions as to how they are coping being in quarantine. Or, well, they're not in quarantine. They're, uh, what, well, what do we call it again? I can't remember the name of it. What is it? It was social distancing. What do they call it now? Self isolation. Self isolation? Okay. Yes, or self distance or whatever it is. Um, so let's move over to the Georges and ask Zoe. Wh Zoe, what is it that you like about being at home? Um, doing, uh, doing crafts. Doing crafts? Do you do a lot of crafts at home? Mm -hmm. Uh huh. And KJ, I know that you haven't started going to school yet, but you like being at home with mommy? And you like being at home with daddy? Oh, that is, that's good. So what do you do at home, KJ? Do you play with your toys? Yeah, he just said, I like Spider-Man. You like spider <laughs> What's What do you like? It was a bow. It felt yeah? Good. This one. You like what? This one. This one. Sp this one. Who's that? Okay. okay, who's that? Spider-Man. KJ, KJ, <laughs> KJ, that's my guy, Spider Man. <laughs> <laughs> okay, so so let's ask these the parents. Okay, so parents, what do you like about having to be teaching your children every day in the schooling, being there? the first teachers now. How, how, how are you guys handling that? Yes, Sarah, go ahead. Um, well, actually, we kind of already, how we view parenting anyways. Like, we teach them when they're not in school. We, like, we do reading, practice, math, and all that stuff. And, like, Katie's learning his numbers, letters, shapes, all those things. So it's kind of like, oh, okay. We just get to be a little bit more creative with it um yeah. and it's nice that we have more time to do it um it's not like okay well we have to like squeeze it in between running here and there and things like that so we're kind of like taking a yeah. bit of a relaxed approach mm -hmm. but um it's something that we've already done like yeah. as part of our parenting mm -hmm. anyways so um yeah, it's just, it's nice. We're enjoying it. And we're like, kind of like having like little meetings saying, okay, what are we going to do this week? How are we going to yeah. switch it up? And yeah. That's cool. good. Cool. cool. I've seen some of, I've seen some of the arts and crafts that Zoe has produced. Awesome. And I've seen some of the nice meal, Zoe, that you cooked. <laughs> did, KJ, KJ, did KJ help you cook them? <laughs> no? We did. did mommy help you cook the meals? They actually, they yeah. were trying to get in the kitchen all the time, and I'm like, okay, how are we going to do this? We have a small kitchen, and I have two extra. Yeah. <laughs> Excellent. We make it work. It did help us. Yeah. So, Edwards, Edwards, how are you guys doing it? Um, so I'm going to hand that to Ron because he's actually been doing the homeschooling. I think the factor that um, people don't consider is that there's still parents that are working from home. So you have your meetings and stuff that are taking place and how the kids schedules is, is that teachers are online at different times. So Ron has been the main homeschooler. So I'll let him speak to how it's been. Yeah, you know what? Um, it's definitely been an eye opener um, for me, especially I think one of the major things that I've 
um, I focus on or I've realized is, you know, it, this is really an opportunity for me to see um, my children's learning style. Yeah. Right? Mm -hmm. Like when they go to school, you, you don't you don't see anything, right? Until you come home and you ask them, you know, okay, how was school today? Okay, let's talk about the work you did. Okay, let's do the homework together. And now um, I'm getting to see more of, of the process of what they do, how they do, how they think, um, you know. Um, so yeah, it's, it's definitely been really interesting. Uh, in terms of the, the time, I think that has been one of the things that, has been a little bit conflicting. Um, I think it's gotten definitely better in terms of, you know, um, their teachers teaching at different or at the same time, like Malaya's teacher at 10 o'clock, she, she goes online live. And so I try to get her set up and then there's Nolan who has his activities that he needs to do. And then, so yeah, it's, it's, it's like um, jumping from one to the next, but, um, yeah, I mean, I, I think I, I, I like this in the sense that I think it'll help when they do go back to school, I'll be able to better help them. So I think that's probably one of the, probably the biggest thing. Wow, wow. So if, so if I could ask this question, would you, would you mind things staying, staying like this? No. For me, no. <laughs> you know what? I, I miss my kids. I, I miss my kids. You know, I, I, I'm not just talking about my personal kids, but my kids, at, my students at school. Um, I think it's, it's, it's good for me that I can go and, and do that and then come home and I can help my own. Um, I think there, there's, there's a better balance. Um, and just yeah. to add to that, I think also it's, um, it's also the fact that the kids are in a different environment. When you're in this home environment 24-7, it's like, every activity overlaps and overlaps so you have that time away from your children in the day and then when you come home it gives you that time to reconnect and have that time apart where it's now it's like an ongoing cycle so that's been an adjustment for them where they don't know what day it is is today a school day is it a home day because it's been a continuous cycle that's happened after time and i think it benefits them in the background to have that separation of being in the classroom and still coming home but as Ron said, we're able to assist them better now that we have more insight into how they learn and what they're doing. Wow. Mm. That's, good. That's good. So it is an adjust and an, an adjustment period for everybody, as I can see. Yeah. Um, especially, I guess, for you guys, the Edwards, you have different age groups, yeah. Um, yeah. and so mm -hmm. the adjustment period, as you said, is making sure that each child has, and you have one more than the Georges, so. Um, it, it, it is a little bit more complicated uh, for you adjusting to the personality styles in the teaching um, as per se all three of your kids in school whereas the Georges it's just they're just dealing with one at school and kind of prima, um, homeschooling the other so it is an adjustment for both families uh, I fully understand that my, my, my next question is if you guys want to let the children go if they're getting um, a little bit antsy you could just let them go both uh, you guys you could just let them go and then we'll just continue on with uh, the parents so we'll just give you a few awesome. minutes yeah, we're gonna to... and set them up for something so just a second. Okay.